My name is Charlotte Stirk and I am co-founder of Handbag Clinics and our senior artisan did complete this work but he's not so comfortable on camera so I'm going to talk you through the steps today. So this mulberry bag is one of the worst mulberry bags we have seen. The handles were completely contaminated with oils which you will see obviously a frequently touched area of the bag. All of the edging had actually completely came off and the leather was beginning to split. The, um, there was areas that were really badly scuffed on the bag as well and there were areas of um, where the leather became burned and very, very dry. And as you can see um, throughout the process, there is just significant colour loss, which is bleach, usually from the sun. We start by removing the handles just because we knew we weren't going to be using those handles because of how damaged they were. With this item, we began by um, actually completely turning the bag inside out. The inside of this item is suede. We use our suede cleaner that we make in-house and um, a very fine bristle brush that will allow us to get really into those fibres within the suede without causing any buffing down of those suede fit fibres as well. We then turned the item back the, its original way to begin the cleaning process on the exterior of the bag. We began with our leather cleaning product, which is a, a water-based cleaner that is safe to use at home. We cleaned the entire bag with that just to take off those the surface dirt, any bacteria that um, had you know, been absorbed into the bag, and then um, began our preparation process where we use um, fluids to help to prepare the leather for the restoration. These products will be products to dry out any areas that have absorbed any oils and as well areas that have become slightly scuffed or damaged. What we will do is we will add a um, product which we call Binder that again is made within house and it helps to really bind those fibres together and create strength in the leather where it may have been scuffed or damaged. On the areas that are significantly burned and they've kind of moulded in, in a quite strange way, they um, needed a product which is a leather revival product that sits on the leather for 24 hours and it is full of really, really nourishing oils to try and help soften up that leather. The filler that we use is a flexible filler which allows us to repair holes in the leather without um, without restricting the leather. It molds in line with the leather to um, ensure that it'll, there'll be no seams or breakages and it will just bend perfectly fluidly with that leather. Then we'll sand that and buff that down to make sure that it is as smooth and is a perfect fit with the rest of the leather. With this item that was needed on the corners, we need to get the colour match accurate. So with this bag, because there was actually no areas that were immediately visible, usually we would get a colour match from a area of the bag, such as the inside, an inside flap that hasn't been seen by the sun. We would usually use that, but this was past that point. So what we actually did with this item was we took off the metalwork so we could see an area that had been completely untouched. Once the leather was completely prepared, the um, areas of that were burned were as improved as they could. So we combined those colours until we had that perfect colour match. So we filled and prepared all of the corners. We got our colour match and we began to spray this item. We will use hand brush um, around those very hard to reach places but we will use the airbrush because this is means the finest amount of colorant is being placed onto the item the mulberry oak color is usually a dyed leather but to recreate that what we do is we use brown we use white to lighten the bag um, depending on the shade of oak that we're looking to achieve we then have a yellow oxide, which will create that nice, um, natural, rustic, and a, a multi-tonal aspect to the leather. 
So we um, colored the entire bag back to its original color and we attached that metalwork seamlessly so the client will have not even known that their metalwork was removed and repaired, it's, it's that seamless. This metalwork was lightly polished because what Mulberry actually use is a coated metal rather than a metal you might see on a Chanel bag which could be replated and restored. So all we can do with this is actually polish it because it's, it's, it's not quite um, the same grading of metal to allow you to do any replating or, or serious restoration work. There are some elements of the bag that we made the professional decision not to restore. So these areas are the two tabs which come down and close the bag um, with studs. They are a slightly different leather type and are designed to have that contrasting finish to the bag and the clochette as well. So we kept those with just cleaning um, and very light restoration work to revive that leather as much as we can but we didn't colour any of those areas because of that design. We um, created the handles. And um, also coloured those to be the, the colour of the bag. This bag was quite interesting because the colour, there were certain areas of the bag which were a slightly different colour and were designed to be that. So we followed that design and ensured that there were some areas that remained a slightly like the shade. The handles were then hand sewn onto the bag and um, it was ready to go.